Hello and welcome back to another video. Today here again on Forza Horizon 5, taking a look at some more incredible Event Lab creations from the Playground Games Editor's Choice section. Last time we took a look at eight of the creations picked by the developers, uh, and I'll link that video in the tag thingy here somewhere if you want to go and watch it after this video. As with that one, I'll be only taking a look at the events that I haven't previously driven in one of these. So let's get started. Just quickly before we do that though, um, if any of you are unfamiliar with Event Lab and how to find these routes, you basically tab across to Creative Hub in the pause menu, go on Event Lab, go on Event Lab Blueprints, and in this case, um, we're going to be taking a look at this first tab, which is the Playground Games Editor's Choice tab. We kick things off today then with the Old Bridge Rally stage from GT Deny, which is a mixed surface three lap event across the Old Bridge through tight jungle and soft white stands. It's set to hot season and anything goes, so there was only really one suitable car to tackle this stage, which totaled seven miles in length. I do love the huge bridge construction that has been made here for this event, um, that you first of all drive over and then under towards the end of the event. The second event lab creation we are looking at today is the Horizon Drift Stadium Circuit, built over on Event Lab Island. Unfortunately, I'm pretty terrible at drifting, and this looks even worse on the replays than it felt like when I was driving. The route itself, though, is quite a cool, fully custom stadium drift circuit with a pit lane, paddock, car park, fan zones, and more. Just like the previous event, this one is also set to Anything Goes, but I chose a Formula Drift Supra for this one. Next up is the Valley Park Raceway from none other than Mr. Twisted Knot himself. I have actually driven this route before, probably in a playlist event I think if I recall correctly. I'm pretty sure it's not previously featured in a video, but even if it has, it is a great track to drive, particularly in this truly incredible jag. Especially as this blueprint has a 1.2 gravity modifier, giving this car of many downforces even more many of them. This track is actually part of what inspired me to make a backdrop to my recent route out of grass platforms similarly to this one. However, here they have been sculpted into proper hill shapes, which feels a lot more natural compared to the look I achieved on my route. This route is also populated with a pit garage, car park and bridge, as well as a good number of trees and shrubberies to bring it alive, which disguises the fact that this is on Event Lab Island very, very well. I also always love how Twisted Knot's creations are brought to life with many spectating little tank characters. The fourth route I'm taking a look at today is Forgotten Paths, made by R4GD33204. It's yet another Event Lab Island route, but this one is a super creative idea. Essentially, you begin in an urban setting, but then drive up through the back of a multi-story car park and smash through some signs to discover some forgotten paths hidden within the city. These tiny little paths were super, super good fun in this tiny little bath. The blueprint itself is two laps in length, and is set to anything goes, but I would recommend using something small and not terribly fast, just like I did for these quite tight and narrow corners.
We continue with another route built on Event Lab Island, the FCG Christmas Winter Mountain Village from Friedrich Mate. As the name suggests, it's a snowy Christmas themed village in the mountains, complete with a jump over a railway in front of an train. There's a frozen lake with a Christmas tree on it, which had literally no grip whatsoever, but was really fun for sliding this little lance here about on, and of course the main village centre. But also a more mountainous section towards the end of the route with plenty of jumps, finishing off with a leap through a castle on the way down to the end of the lap. This particular blueprint is set to 5 laps, anything goes, and has much fogginess so you can't really see much of where you're going, but it gives it a really great atmosphere I think. And finally, last but definitely not least, we head back to the mainland of Mexico for the Canyon of Speed Hill Climb made by Tony137. It's a thrilling race through rugged terrain, challenging competitors to conquer steep inclines and treacherous paths in a quest for speed and glory. This one is limited to A-Class vehicles from the 1980s, so I of course went for a Ferrari 288 GTO. Unsure at this point if it was going to be a mixed surface route or not, but these things did participate in rallies, so even if it did turn out to have a dirt section, which it did, um, this car slid up the hill with no problems. The route is also really nicely populated with props, although there was an extra set of start lights hovering it in the air at the beginning, which I don't think was supposed to be there. The rest of them, though, give a really cool feeling and gave me an uh, almost Horizon 1 vibe, um, which I particularly enjoyed when driving this route. And that is going to be all for today's video, taking a look at some more incredible Event Lab creations here in Forza Horizon 5. As ever, do let me know your thoughts on all of the routes showcased today and which one maybe is your favourite. And if you have some of your own routes that you'd like to submit to potentially be shown in a video just like this one, you can via my Discord, which is linked in the description. For now, though, that is going to be all, so thank you very much for watching, and I'll be back with the next one very soon. Thank you.